Hey guys, welcome back to Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer and in today's video we're going to talk about how to rig a bobber. You know, fishing with a bobber is a really effective technique to catch all kinds of fish, especially panfish, and that's kind of what we're going to be focusing on today. Uh, but, you know, you can catch anything uh, fishing with a bobber. So I'm going to give you two rigs today. One is going to be uh, more focused on live bait rigging with a bobber, and the other one is going to be focused on fishing with a jig and bobber. So we're going to start with the live bait, and we're going to have three components to this rig. So I have one rigged here on the rod, and I just want to start out by saying when I'm fishing with bobbers of any variety, I like to use a longer rod. And one of the reasons for that is, you know, if there becomes any slack in your line, or even if you have a real, a relatively, uh, you know, tight line between your your main line here and your bobber, when you go to set that hook, you at least have to to cover the distance between the bobber and where your bait is down, where you have the hook or the the fish hook. Uh, but a lot of times, you know, your, your boat will float a little bit or, you know, just the wind will blow your bobber. So you'll have a little slack line you have to, to, to take in before you can get that hook set. So when I'm fishing with the bobber, I like to use a longer rod, at least 7 feet, but, uh, you know, 8 feet or longer is, is good. So when we get to the actual bobber rig here, and I'm going to slide this down this bobber down here so we can uh, see more what we're doing but the first thing we got to pick here is the hook and when we're fishing for let's say we're fishing for panfish or anything we're fishing for with live bait I like to use a light wire hook so this is a number four light wire Aberdeen hook it's an eagle claw the reason I like a light wire hook is say you're fishing for, you know, crappies or, you know, walleyes or anything and you're using minnows, you're using live minnows. If you use a light wire Aberdeen hook, that minnow, it's going to be able to swim around. It's going to stay alive longer. Whereas if you hook it with some big hook, uh, you know, heavy hook or a jig, the, the minnow is not going to be able to move as freely because it's got that weight that it has to move. So a light wire Aberdeen hook allows that bait, whatever it is, whether it's a minnow, a leech, a night crawler, a cricket, it allows that live bait to move around a little more freely. So I'm going to start out with a light wire hook. The next thing you're going to need is a, a split shot or some type of weight. Here's a split shot right here. You don't need a real big split shot. And I'm going to put that split shot, it doesn't, you know, matter, uh, you know, it's not a big deal, but usually about a foot to a foot and a half above that hook. And you want that split shot just because, like, say you're fishing a minnow, you don't want that thing swimming all over the place, or when you cast it out, it'll take forever to sink down. You want that, that rig to set up right away. So you're going to put a split shot to hold the, that live bait, whatever it is, kind of in place. And it's still going to be able to swim around freely, uh, you know, easily uh, below that split shot. So we're going to do a hook, a split shot. Then we're going to put our bobber on. And we're going to set our bobber according to the depth that we're fishing, obviously. So, you know, say you're fishing three feet of water, you might set that bobber so that your line is hanging down two feet. If you're fishing four feet of water, you might set the the bobber so your line is hanging down you know two feet so let's say we want to fish two feet two feet down in four feet of water well what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the line out about two feet and then I'm going to clip on my bobber so right at that two foot mark so I'm just going to use a standard you know red and white bobber these are just the standard cheap bobbers and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to clip this on. You're just going to push down on the top, which is going to pop out the little clip on the bottom. I'm going to put that on. Now, if I just do the bottom clip, what's going to happen is, is the white part, which is supposed to be the top, is going to sit underwater, and the red will be on top. 
but also this bobber can slide on the line. So to stop that, you're going to also clip the top on by pushing in on the black, which exposes the clip. Wrap that line around. Now it's double clipped on the top and on the bottom. The bobber is going to sit upright, so the white is on the top. Uh, the red is on the bottom. And I'm going to be fishing two feet down in however deep of water. So I usually like to use a regular standard bobber like this. For fishing shallower water, if it gets up, you know, deeper than five feet, that's when I normally go to a slip bobber. And if you don't know what a slip bobber is or how to rig one, I will link uh, right up here in the corner of this video to another video I did on how to fish a slip bobber. But slip bobbers are good anytime you're fishing deeper water. Now, if you're wondering, you know, what rods to use, you know, what line, what baits to go with these rigs. In the description of this video, I'll include a link to my ultimate crappie gear guide. So if you're using you know, these techniques to crappie fishing, just click on that link, grab a copy of my gear guide. It's free, and in that I'm going to list you know, the rods that I use, the bobbers, the lures, everything in the gear guide, so you can definitely check that out. Alright guys, so now the other rig that we're going to tie is a, a bobber rig when we're fishing with a jig. So if I'm going to fish, you know, crappies or any type of panfish with a jig and usually artificial bait, then uh, a lot of times I will use a bobber to keep my jig in the strike zone. So the reason when I'm fishing with a, you know, a jig and plastic, the reason I use a bobber is because I want to be able to keep my my bait in the strike zone uh, because if you just cast out you know, it can be hard to know where your bait is in the water column. You know, are you on the bottom? Are you right under the surface? Are you in the center? So if you use a bobber, you kind of, you can keep your bait in a fixed position. So I've actually fished this way a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie on a jig here. And incidentally, again, in this situation, because I am fishing with the bobber, I like to use a longer rod. So here I have another seven foot rod that I'm going to be using this for. And I'm going to be using six pound line. Crappies a lot of times are not that sensitive to line. You know, there can be situations they are, but a lot of times they're not. So I'm using six pound mono here, but you could be using yellow or green high vis line. It really doesn't matter. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie the jig on. And you can tie this jig on using a loop knot or just a standard fisherman's knot. I've got a standard fisherman's knot right there. You can see this bait is presented nice and horizontal. And then I'm just going to clip this bobber on the same way as I did uh, on the live bait rig. J uh, just by pinching the line here, hooking the bottom on, and then also hooking the top on. Now, with this jig... I could fish live bait if I wanted to, and you know I do fairly often. Just with that light wire hook, you're, if you're fishing minnows, they can swim around more. But you'll still get decent action with a jig. Now, if you're using a jig, you don't need the split shot because the jig is heavy enough to get it right down. But a lot of times when I'm fishing with a jig, I'm going to be using a jig and plastic combo, so my rig will look a lot like this. There I've got my plastic minnow rigged on a jig under a bobber and now I can you know just cast this out and I can fish this rig. Now if you'd like to know exactly how I fish a jig and bobber check out the video I did on fishing with a jig and a bobber by clicking on the video up here in the corner of the screen or going into the comments where I'll also have the video linked. So I'll see you guys in the next video.